GED students. It's GED question of the daytime and super simple question this time. It just says simplify. And what does simplify mean? But it just means do the indicated operations. So basically obey the signs and symbols that you see. So what do I see here? I see 17 squared or another way to read that 17 raised to the second power. 17 to the second power. Okay, so I posted this problem here on Facebook and a student kind of sarcastically answered back, I wish my GED test was this simple. You're right, you're not likely to see just 17 squared all by itself on the GED test. However, you are likely to see exponents come up in order of operations problems, which you are going to have to work without a calculator. So we are building up to that point, okay? So um, that's my preface for why we need to know this. Oh, also it comes up in evaluating expressions quite a bit and it would be awful if you did all the hard algebra right and then got the arithmetic part wrong so let's take a look what does 17 squared or 17 to the second power mean well just like we have a shortcut way of talking about repeated addition 17 plus 17 could be written as 2 times 17 we also have a shortcut way of talking about repeated multiplication. 17 times 17 can be written as 17 squared. So 17 squared or 17 to the second power means the number 17 multiplying by itself or two 17s multiplying. So even if you don't have that memorized, we could sure work that out in scratch work. Let's go ahead and do so. Let's multiply 17 by 17. Well, 7 times 7 is 49. I'll drop that 9 and carry that 4. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11, and I'm done with my 1s. Now I'm working with my 10s, so I'll put a 0 here. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1. Add up what I got from my 1s column with what I got in my from my tens multiplication and I get the number 289. So 17 squared is 289. If you did this with a calculator, you wouldn't be wrong, but you would be uh, shooting yourself in the foot because um, this could definitely show up in the context of the non-calculator section on the GED. So make sure that you do know how to work these uh, power or exponent problems without a calculator. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.